in the golden haze of nostalgia, where sepia-toned memories intertwine with the silver screen, lies a doorway to a bygone era. Picture this, it's the early 1970s, a time of bell-bottoms, flower power, and the irresistible charm of the television screen. Amidst this kaleidoscope of pop culture, there it was, The Partridge Family, a show that danced its way into living rooms and hearts alike. Do you remember that first moment? The crackling excitement as the theme song's contagious melody filled the airwaves, inviting you to join a musical escapade with the harmonizing Partridge clan. As the technicolor world of the partridges unfolded, so did a tapestry of moments that painted smiles on faces across generations. Maybe it was the whimsical charisma of Keith Partridge, his voice resonating not just through the microphone, but into the soul. Or perhaps it was the infectious camaraderie among the family members, each strumming a chord that echoed the rhythm of their individual quirks, from Dana's mischievous grin to Reuben's raised eyebrow of exasperated amusement. And the tunes. Oh, those tunes that stitched together the narrative like lyrics to a timeless song. In the heart of each episode, music became the universal language that bridged gaps and healed woes, reminding us that even in the quirkiest of situations, there's a harmony waiting to be found. But let's not simply stroll down memory lane. Instead, let's unveil a few hidden gems about the show, those delicious tidbits that infuse a new shade of appreciation. From casting anecdotes that almost led to a different Keith, to the trivia of that iconic bus, those wheels of laughter and dreams that carried the partridges on their lyrical journey. So, as the spotlight turns toward the curtain, get ready to uncover the curtain call of facts that add a delightful spin to your partridge knowledge. Because isn't it intriguing how the past weaves its threads into our present tapestry? And all this, dear reader, is merely the overture to the symphony of insights about to play. The Partridge Family, a 1970 TV series, emerged as a musical sitcom that left an enduring mark on popular culture. Inspired by the real-life family musical group The Cousels, the show followed the adventures of the titular family as they embarked on a music career. Notably, it was created by Bernard Slade and produced by Screen Gems for a BC. The Partridge family featured a captivating ensemble, including Shirley Partridge, portrayed by Shirley Jones, and her five children, with David Cassidy as Keith Partridge. Their musical endeavors were complemented by the talents of Danny Bonajuice as Danny Partridge, Susan Day as Laurie Partridge, and others. The series intertwined family dynamics with music, as the Partridges traveled the country in their multicolored bus, performing their hits. What set the Partridge family apart was its unique blend of comedy, music, and relatable family interactions. The show incorporated catchy tunes, and David Cassidy's heartthrob status added to its allure, spawning real-life chart-topping hits like I Think I Love You. The series' impact was evident, with merchandise, albums, and concerts expanding its cultural footprint. Throughout its run, the show introduced various guest stars, enhancing its appeal and diversifying storylines. Notably, the Partridge family struck a chord with viewers of all ages, becoming a symbol of the era's pop culture. Its influence extended beyond the small screen, cementing its place in the annals of entertainment history. Random facts about the show, the Partridge family's iconic bus was a 1957 Chevrolet Series 680 Superior School bus, customized for the series. The character of Keith Partridge was initially conceived as a secondary role, but David Cassidy's charisma propelled him to the forefront. The show's theme song, Simon Get Happy, became synonymous with the series and encapsulated its upbeat vibe. While David Cassidy's musical career soared, he dealt with challenges related to his teen heartthrob status. The exterior shots of the Partridge family's home were filmed at a real house in California, which became a popular tourist spot. The Partridge family's fusion of family dynamics and music left an indelible mark on television history, showcasing the power of music to unite generations. Its catchy tunes, relatable characters, and wholesome yet trendy portrayal of family life continue to resonate with audiences, making it a timeless classic. Oscar-winning talent shines on the set of The Partridge Family in the vibrant realm of 1970s television. The Partridge Family stood out as a beloved musical sitcom. Amidst its tuneful narratives, a unique blend of stories and characters left an indelible mark on the era. 
Among the memorable episodes and cast dynamics, a surprising highlight emerged, the convergence of Oscar-winning talent within its confines. Shirley Jones, the luminous star of the show, brought more than just her acting chops to the table. Having won an Academy Award for her role in Elmer Gantry in 1961, Jones' prowess extended beyond the silver screen. Her portrayal of matriarch Shirley Partridge demonstrated her multifaceted abilities, adding a layer of authenticity to the series. The constellation of Oscar winners did not end there. Louis Gossett Jr., a future Academy Award recipient for his role in An Officer and a Gentleman, made a notable appearance in the 1971 episode titled Soul Club. Gossett Jr. S. performance foreshadowed the commanding presence he would later exhibit on the big screen. Jodie Foster, another jewel in the show's guest star lineup, graced the episode The Eleven Year Itch in 1973. Little did viewers know that Foster would ascend to cinematic greatness, securing two Oscars for her roles in The Accused and Silence of the Lambs. Her early appearance as Dana's love interest marked the inception of a remarkable career trajectory. As the show unfolded, its youthful ensemble too had aspirations beyond the small screen. According to Shirley Jones, the actors who portrayed Laurie, Danny, Tracy, and the two Chrises were given a chance to showcase their musical talents in a recording studio. The endeavor, however, unveiled their limitations, highlighting that stardom and acting didn't necessarily translate to musical virtuosity. Amidst the harmonious melodies and laughter, the Partridge family resonated with an undercurrent of accomplished performers who would eventually bask in the glory of Oscar triumphs. Their legacy continues to remind us that even amid the light-hearted world of television, the seeds of greatness can be sown. Shirley Jones' introduction of the Cousels during their concert show forged an enduring link between the musical family and the iconic TV series, The Partridge Family. This association remained a hallmark of the show's cultural resonance. Notably, the series tactfully veiled the name of Shirley's late husband throughout its run, offering a delicate homage to her real-life relationship. Amid the show's trajectory, when David Cassidy's exhaustion led to his departure, producers sought innovative remedies. Two compelling concepts emerged. One envisioned Rick Springfield seamlessly assuming Cassidy's role, while another proposed the introduction of Wesley Ura as a neighboring musician who would serendipitously step into the Partridge Ensemble. The Partridge Family, a show interwoven with musicality and subtle narrative intrigue, remains a testament to the era's television landscape. Its behind-the-scenes nuances, like the potential casting twists, add layers to the show's enduring charm. Engaging and enigmatic, the Partridge family continues to captivate, exemplifying the timeless allure of television's golden age. I Think I Love You catapults the Partridge family over Beatles Let It Be in an astonishing turn of chart-topping events in 1970. The infectious melody of I Think I Love You by the Partridge family ouch on the iconic Beatles hit Let It Be on the Billboard Hot 100. This unexpected ascent to the pinnacle of pop music not only solidified the Partridge family's prominence, but also marked a historic shift in the musical landscape. The Partridge Family, a television series that had been capturing the hearts of audiences across the nation, found an unexpected rival in the legendary Beatles. The band's soulful and uplifting anthem Let It Be had already established itself as a musical monument. However, against all odds, the pop culture tide swayed in favor of the catchy tunes of I Think I Love You. It signified the evolving tastes of the era, as well as the show's immense influence on popular culture. The series, which chronicled the adventures of a musical family, had transcended the screen, permeating into the realm of music charts. The resonating voices of the Partridge family members, led by the charismatic David Cassidy, harmonized seamlessly with the youthful spirit of the time. The song's lyrics, simple yet evocative, tapped into universal themes of young love, and infatuation, striking a chord with listeners of all ages. As I Think I Love You soared to the top spot, it not only eclipsed a legendary group like the Beatles, but also exemplified the power of television to shape musical trends. The Partridge family's impact was further magnified by the fact that David Cassidy, the heartthrob of the show, was not only a television star, but also a bona fide pop idol. The success of I Think I Love You on the charts became a defining moment in the cultural zeitgeist of the 1970s. 
It highlighted the symbiotic relationship between television and music, demonstrating how a catchy melody from a fictional family band could captivate the masses. So, while the Beatles' Let It Be remains a timeless classic in the annals of music history, it was the Partridge family's I Think I Love You that held the crown in 1970, proving that sometimes, even the most unexpected melodies can reign supreme. As we bid adieu to this nostalgic journey through the vibrant era of the Partridge family, it's as if we're gently placing the needle back onto a treasured vinyl record, allowing the echoes of timeless tunes and heartwarming moments to linger in the air. Just like the colorful patterns of their iconic bus, the show painted our screens with melodies of family togetherness and unexpected adventures. Now, take a moment to pause and reflect. Let the whispers of Simon get happy reverberate through your memories. Can you feel the resonance of kinship that transcends time? Whether it was the catchy melodies, the quirky dynamics, or the sense of belonging that left its mark, the Partridge family has a special place in our hearts. It's a show that wove its way into the tapestry of our lives, connecting us with an era where the pursuit of harmony, both in music and within our relationships, was at the forefront. As we close this chapter, I invite you to share your own personal harmonies. What does the Partridge family mean to you? What melodies of sentiment does it stir in your soul? Whether it's a memory of singing along to their tunes or a reflection on the significance of family bonds, your thoughts add another layer to the symphony of connection that this show has composed over the years. Thank you for joining me on this reminiscence, for allowing the past to serenade us once more. Your time and sentiment are cherished as we continue to keep the spirit of the Partridge family alive. Until our next voyage down memory lane, Take care, stay harmonious, and keep the love for classic TV close to your heart. Warm regards and fond memories.